So two of my bandsaws that use quarter inch blades are dull at the same time. And those six TPI blades are my least favorite to sharpen. So I've been sharpening these blades by touching the top of every tooth with a Dremel tool like this. But it's kind of stressful and I usually end up nicking some of the teeth. So I've been thinking about making a jig to improve on that. So I've come up with this thing here where I've got this nail and a lever that allows me to move the blade one tooth at a time without holding it. And to make sure I don't skip any teeth, I added this screw underneath here. So if I back this thing up too far, it lifts it up and it can't engage another tooth. So now I need a way of guiding the Dremel tool precisely onto the same spot all the time. I used a step drill to drill a hole big enough to fit around this part of the Dremel. So I can mount that in here. And I used a rusty old hinge for the guidance here. I had to bang that hinge up a little bit to get rid of the play in it. And then this part screws on here. Now the problem with this is the weight of the Dremel actually rests on the bandsaw blade, but I'd rather have it so I have to push this down a bit to grind each tooth. So I have a spring that goes in here, but I also want this to be a little bit adjustable. So there's a little jig bolt that goes into this hole, so I can adjust how hard it pushes on the spring. Now I found the blade wasn't always staying put inside the slot. So I had the idea of having some kind of wheel to hold it down right here. Just a ball bearing on a long piece of coat hanger wire. And if I screw that down on this side, that gives it enough springiness to hold it in place. Now I also found that sometimes this nail wouldn't really engage the tooth. So I'm going to add a rubber band that hooks onto a screw back here and pulls against that nail to help push it down. Now this is not a variable speed Dremel tool, so I've got this plugged into a Variac so I can control what speeds it runs at. I put a piece of tape on the weld because the uh, weld often involves a tooth spacing that is slightly odd. And I don't want that in between the grinding wheel and my pusher because then I'd be uh, grinding in the wrong place potentially. The problem with this jig is it's very consistent and so I always hit this grindstone at the same spot and actually wore a groove into it and as that groove wore deeper the shape of the teeth changed. So I installed a diamond disc on here and resharpened the whole blade again. I can't say that this jig was really worth making because even though it's more consistent and slightly less annoying when I'm sharpening, sharpening freehand I can actually do quite a bit faster. And I certainly won't be attempting to make a jig that's fully automated because this one wasn't really worth it already and I don't have that many bandsaw blades to sharpen. I'd be way out of bandsaw blades before I get it fully debugged.